this one might not resonate quite so much with you because you do not have full siblings um, and Victoria doesn't live close and her age gap is, with you is huge. Um, so this is what you're missing. As you know, Yi Yi is nine years younger than I am and Jeffrey, uh, your autistic uncle, giant, adorable friend, <laughs> uh, is one year, but he doesn't factor so much into this, except for the fact that he's autistic, which comes in later. Um, he didn't grow up with Gong Gong, he grew up with Grandma. And uh, so she wasn't quite as familiar with uh, Gong Gong's quirks as I was and had not yet learned to internalize them like I did. Um, and she was uh, always a very, like, naive, uh, well-meaning, optimistic kind of kid. So she did stuff like, uh, uh, go, one time she went to a garage sale and there were these golf trophies and she thought, oh, you know, I think my dad likes golfing. I'd, I'd like to give him a trophy. So she bought those trophies and she put masking tape on the names and wrote, Dad. And Grandma let her do it. And so I got that phone call from Gong Gong. Uh, Why did your sister get me trophy that not even mine? She meant well. Okay, then. So uh, Gong Gong's big thing with Grace, he was afraid that she would be the stupid one in the family. She is, but that that's neither here nor there. Um, I, at one point, was a very productive, uh, good Chinese daughter because I was a lawyer and, uh, you know, self-sufficient and all that kind of stuff. And, of course, in a profession that was uh, um, acceptable for the purposes of uh, extolling uh, virtues of one's spawn to other people. And... Uh, she had gone through university and then she had gotten a certificate in medical administration and and Gong Gong was always like, oh man, you know, you're ne'er-do-well sister, except he didn't know that term because he's an immigrant, not very good with English. And uh, after I got pregnant with you, um, actually let me back up, a, back up a bit. So I was always very protective of Grace and Jeff. Um, to the point where, like, if there was a family gathering on Gong Gong's side, I would, uh, I would always be like, okay, Grace and Jeff are coming. Um, when Gong Gong would uh, ask about, you know, uh, Jeff and Yi Yi, I'd be like, oh, no, no, they're good, and this is what she's doing, and, and stuff. And he'd always be like, why can't she be more like you? And which comes in ironically later. Um, fast forward to uh, Yi still being unemployed. And Gong Gong, this was after um, I had told him that I was pregnant with you and leaving law. It was the best moment of his life, I'm sure. Um, he said something about her not being employable and I said, well, at least she didn't get knocked up and leave law. So now he's a nurse and I uh, have had a child out of wedlock and I'm no longer practicing law. So I'm really, really the jewel in Gong Gong's crown. Um, so yeah, I did protect Yi Yi all of these years um, in order to have that reversed, but the positive is that your Yi Yi buys me a lot of shit. So it works out in the end. Try to be a good person if it suits you.